You're watching the CHSAA on News 12 Varsity as we welcome you to Fort Greene in Brooklyn for a Tri-State Top 20 Showdown. Number six, Christ the King, is on the road to face number 14, Bishop Lachlan. Hello everyone, welcome, I'm David Resnick. Christ the King from Queens comes all the way to Brooklyn for a league showdown, their second matchup of the season. The Lions on the road earlier this season pulled off a four point overtime win. The Royals are here for revenge. And they will be led by their Georgia Tech bound Jose Alvarado, the reigning CHSAA MVP. He is a three-year starter, averaging 17 points per game, and has the medal to play in this big-time atmosphere. On the other side, Keith Williams Jr. will play the small forward position as the 15th player in Bishop Lachlan history to score 1,000 points. He's averaging 22 a contest for the Lions. It's a packed gymnasium at Bishop Lachlan for this rivalry matchup. Bishop Lachlan, Christ the King, a CHSAA showdown on News 12 Varsity. Who will rise higher? Dunk harder. And go farther. The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long. We welcome you to Bishop Lachlan where there is a packed gymnasium for the Lions and the Royals of Christ the King in a Brooklyn Queens battle for at the moment second place. Malloy at 11 and two in the first spot. Lachlan at seven and three comes in at number two. And Christ the win has an additional victory, but also an extra loss. They are at eight and four as we enter play on this Super Bowl Sunday. We will get to the starting lineups in a moment, but first, three players we are expected not to see that would have an impact in today's game. First for the visitors, Tyson Walker is out once again, the second leading scorer for the Royals. And as for the Lions, they are expected to be shorthanded up front with the absence of Jordan Thomas and Richard Spring. Joe Orbitello is in his ninth season, picked up career win 200 earlier in January. He is coaching his alma mater, graduating from Christ the King in 1995. So he said Tyson Walker was out, so Phillips Joseph, the 6'7 sophomore forward, gets the start today against the Lions. As for Bishop Lachlan, Edwin Gonzalez in his eighth season, out of all hollows in 1981, has 136 career victories coaching the Lions. And so without Jordan Thomas, without Richard Springs, Justin Champagne will get the start along with Adrian Nunez. That'll be part of the unit that will begin on the floor for the Lions. Again, second place on the line in the Brooklyn Queens division with Malloy a game ahead of Lachlan. Malloy splitting a pair of games with the Lions. Malloy beat Christ the King and they will play again later this month. And Bishop Lachlan with a 66-62 overtime victory on the road at Christ the King. Looking for the season sweep after beating Christ the King twice in the playoffs last season. We are underway. Christ the King in the wine and gold. Bishop Lachlan in the home yellows. Alvarado watched initially by Gaffney. Gaffney with the rebound, pushing pace ahead. Contact, no call. And the follow for Keith Williams Jr. A 2-0 start for Lachlan. The JV game prior to this went to overtime. This is the fourth and final game of the day. And so we're starting a bit late. The energy in the building so far a bit muted. 
but they're just getting revved up. Alvarado picks it off the deck. As Christ the King trails by a deuce. Weak side opportunity, Harrison Hunt had it go off of his hands. And Champagne pushing the action, can't follow, finish. Kofi Cockburn rips down the rebound. And Justin Champagne, after missing the lay-in, commits the foul. Jose Alvarado, Alvarado, the reigning CHSAA MVP. Runner-up in that contest was Marquise Noel. He's part of the starting backcourt for Bishop Lachlan. Alvarado step back, looking for three, it's a swish. Alvarado puts Christ the King in front for the first time today. A 3-2 lead with 90 seconds gone by into the first quarter. Noel matched up against Davis. A baseline drive and a block. The sophomore Champagne aggressive early and without the senior Thomas and the sophomore Springs, there will be three additional sophomores that will see more time in the front court and will need to grow up real quickly as the Lions throw it away. Not a seat to be had here at Bishop Lachlan. Jared Harrison Hunt finds Joseph on the cut. And Phillips Joseph makes it 5-2. Weak side rebound for Harrison Hunt. Pushes up to Jalen Davis, spinning, and finds the trailer Joseph who gets hacked. Good ball movement in the half court for Christ the King. And Phillips Joseph who got the start today in place of the injured Tyson Walker shooting a pair. Christ the King, one of the hottest teams, not only in the CHSAA, not only in the city of New York, but the entire Tri-State. They've won seven straight games. Champagne out, Chad Venning in as Champagne, the sophomore, picks up two first quarter fouls. Seven straight wins for the Royals. They've improved to the sixth best team in the Tri-State. When we saw them a couple of weeks ago at their apparel challenge, they were in the high teens, and Joe Arbitello didn't quite think his team belonged there. Backdoor look for Williams. Lays it in off the fine from Gaffney. Keith Williams has all four for Bishop Lachlan as Joseph attacks the rim and gets fouled. Adrian Nunez gets called for the foul. Edwin Gonzalez thought it was clean and should have been a jump ball. Ask Joe Arbitello of Christ the King about the recent seven game winning streak. What has changed? Because this team was eight and six at one point during the year. Part of his explanation had to do with the reliance on sophomores this year, and it just takes time for those players to mature and find comfort playing in the varsity setting. Phillips Joseph makes one of two, the second one an air ball. CTK applying full court pressure, at least on the inbounds. And now Keith Williams Jr. Inside to Gaffney on the baseline's fadeaway no. 
The rebound for Harrison Hunt, and too high for Joseph. A careless turnover by CTK in transition, and it's back to Bishop Lachlan, trailing by two. Again, pressure applied. This time, Davis was in the face of Noel, who shaked off the de defender quickly and then jogged it across the timeline. Noel has yet to shoot. Gets Davis in the air. Nunez driving with one hand, misses off the iron, and the rebound is cleared by Harrison Hunt. Alvarado, good find. In the corner is Joseph. He's got six first quarter points, and Phillips Joseph has helped Christ the King out to a 9-4 lead. Nearly midway through the quarter, as the bigger Davis is called for the hand check. You can see how close our cameraman, Thomas Schnars, is to the action. Williams with the follow, his slam lips out. Alvarado pushing pace. That slight hesitation got Davis open, and Edwin Gonzalez wants to talk things over as the Royals have opened up an 11-4 lead. Foul on the inbounds before it was released. It's called, I believe, against Davis. As Christ the King, at least on the initial catch, making it a little bit difficult for the Lions. And then after it's in, the team is really retreating. They double team Noel and then allowed him to get free and take it across midcourt. Gaffney, nice finish as she avoided the contact and scores. Kofi Cockburn, first post touch and he delivers on the nice spin move. Back to a seven point lead with 3.30 to go. First quarter here at Bishop Lachlan as they host Christ the King. Gaffney stripped, good hands by Alvarado. Two on two, Alvarado explodes to the rim, left it short, here comes Noel. Lead pass to Venning. Problem with the shot clock, it reset. Edwin Gonzalez, it appears, wanted the play to continue because his team had an advantage. While our cameraman Thomas Schnars is center court, we are off to the corner, and so we do not have the ability to listen in and hear some of the conversation on the floor. So we make our best guess. Davis defending the inbound pass. Noel has to be sneaky about it as he gets it into Gaffney. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Gaffney, good find to Williams, who's fouled on the hands. Williams averaging nearly a double-double with 22 points and nearly nine and a half rebounds. His scoring average, third best in the league. Lions trailing 13 to six in a low scoring first quarter.
Lane violation against Christ the King. And so Williams, after an empty trip, will get one more opportunity. Makes the most of it. Williams has five of his team's seven points. Joseph tries to catch it with one hand, and the bullet pass from Davis ends up out of play. Williams quickly pushing tempo, stops and hits. Keith Williams has seven first quarter points. The deficit is just four as Christ the King has the lead. Davis off the iron, no, vetting inside position, and it's knocked out of play by Cockburn. Joshua Hodge has entered the lineup. I beg your pardon, it's uh, Jonathan Lamartine vetting the offensive rebound and he sticks it back. The key to vetting's game is going after every rebound, playing aggressively. And he did so there as Bishop Lachlan is on a 7-2 run. They trailed by seven on two occasions early here in the first quarter. We've got 2.05 remaining. Noel, no, Venning ties it at 13 with his second offensive rebound and put back. Good response for Bishop Lachlan after trailing early on its home floor. Noel in the passing lane deflects it. 147 to go, first quarter, tied at 13. Harrison Hunt lost the footing, then lost the ball, recovered. Here's Alvarado knifing in. He hits the deck after missing the layup. Cockburn is there for the follow and one. Kofi Cockburn, the 6'11 sophomore, rebounds over Venning and puts it in for a chance at a three-point play. Lead is back to Christ the King. And the line drive free throw is good. Julianne Champagne checking in. Adrian Nunez will take a seat for presumably the final minute 20 of the first quarter. Noel has yet to score. Keith Williams has seven points. 110 to go. Davis against Williams. Cockburn, one dribble. And the baby hook is no good. Quickly back the other way. Williams is rejected. Harrison Hunt goes high for the block. Under a minute to play, and Christ the King leads by three. Williams always in attack mode. This is Venning in the post, diving after the loose ball, and he was last to touch it before it hit the paint. Alvarado sees an opening, blocking foul, plus one. He quickly turned the quarter, and Marquise Noel gets called for the foul as Jose Alvarado has five here in the first. We were covering the apparel challenge where Jose Alvarado scored his 1,000th point. And speaking with him after the game, he talked about how much of an honor it was to join the long list 
of notable names that have come through Christ the King to score 1,000. You walk right into the building and it hits you through the trophy case, all those that have accomplished the feat. Noel slipped because of a foul. That's called against Lamartine. Six point lead for Christ the King. You can see the intensity of the rivalry. Shot clock off with 32.5 seconds to go. Alvarado playing with an edge. Tough place for Noel to inbound the ball from. Entry feed right into Venning. Flips it up, no good. Cockburn has the high rebound. Williams with the steal and dunk. Headsy play for Keith Williams. Keith Williams with nine. The Cincinnati bound senior has nine of the 15 for Lachlan, but they trail by four. From the foul line, too strong. Harrison Hunt after his own miss as time expires in the first quarter. 19-15. Every point needs to be worked for. Christ the King has the lead on the road against Bishop Lachlan. You're watching the CHSAA on News 12 Varsity. The love, yeah, it's in our souls. The passion, it's in the cheers. And in that pivotal moment, we live and die with every pass, block, steal, and game-winning dunk. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Don't miss a minute. Download the News 12 Varsity app today. Back on December 6th, Keith Williams Jr. became the 15th player in Bishop Lachlan history to score 1,000 points. And we're about two months after his accomplishment and already his name joining a very impressive list which includes Mark Jackson of St. John's and NBA fame. More recent players in Mike Williams of Rutgers, Kadeem Carrington of Seton Hall. Mike Williams Jr. is up there as well. Playback underway here in the second quarter, 1915. Williams, the steal and stuff. 11 first half points. Thomas Schnarz, our producer. I'm David Resnick. We are at Bishop Lachlan in a packed gymnasium at Fort Greene. Shot clock reset to 30. Nineteen seventeen, the lead for Christ the King. Keith Williams and Marquise Noel combined for 47 points in the first matchup. They scored all 12 Bishop Lachlan points in overtime. Offensive rebound, Harrison Hunt. He's going to the line. And asking Joe Arbitello if the game plan against those two was going to be any different. He said, no, we just need to do a better job of containing them. Noel is scoreless, Keith Williams with 11. Four of those points off of hustle plays near the rim. So perhaps Coach Arbitello is pleased with the half court defense, even though Williams has 11 points overall.
Gaffney off balance. Rebound underneath. That's Williams in a crowd. Harrison Hunt, kick out, Alvarado tees it up, too strong. Weak side rebound, Williams. Also joining players like Javon Pinkston and Curtis Sumter, who both went on to play at Villanova on the 1,000 point list. As you saw earlier, a bit of a gap between 1,000 point scores. But at least three as of late. Cockburn goes to work contorting his body to draw the foul. <laughs> Kofi Cockburn has played the entire first half as we have 6.13 remaining in the second quarter. Cockburn growing up in Kingston, Jamaica as he gets the first free throw to fall. Already an offers list that includes UConn, Seton Hall, and UNLV. For a player whose first sport and love was soccer. Two point game with 6.05 remaining first half. Price the King with a two point road lead. Gaffney tough shot falling away. Cockburn rips down another rebound. Everything he does is with authority. Even here as he posts up, turns, and nearly hits off glass. Battle for the rebound, squirts out to Williams. It fuels the break as he goes right at Alvarado, but missed a layup short. Alvarado got bumped by Williams. Ball is loose. Noel has it in the front court. Teardrop, no, still scoreless. And Alvarado recovers to grab the rebound. You hear the phrase a lot, referees are letting them play. We just saw that the referees are letting them play. Alvarado tries to thread a pass inside, but the sophomore Julian Champagne deflected it down. Noel, look away, on the block. What a find to Gaffney. Tied at 21, less than five to go, first half. Noel has yet to score, but his assist leading to two points there. Good catch by Cockburn. Davis, baseline drive, goes reverse, no. Cockburn tries to follow slam, and he was hacked. The defense collapsing on the baseline drive. And that allowed Cockburn to crash the offensive glass. Joe Arbitello running quite a few post plays for Cockburn early in this contest. Again, Bishop Lachlan playing without 6'5 forward Jordan Thomas, playing without 6'9 forward Richard Springs, two fifths of the traditional starting lineup. So the advantage for Cockburn increases against a shorthanded front line. Perfect trip for Cockburn, 23-21. The lead for Christ the King, 420 remaining. As Noel steps into an open space and misfires from 15. Offensive rebound and a reset for the Lions. Williams lets it fly. And his impressive, impressive first half continues with 16 points. Just six shy of his season average against one of the best teams in the league. Alvarado got fouled on the floor on his driving attempt. Substitution, bringing in Jared Harrison Hunt for Jonathan 
Lamartine. And that's the seventh foul against Bishop Lachlan, sending Jose Alvarado to the line one and one. And something that we've seen quite a bit here so far. The Royals vacating the free throw line to set up their half court defense. We are here in Brooklyn where Jose Alvarado originally thought he would go to high school. The plan before Christ the King was to play at boys and girls of the PSAL. One point lead for Christ the King. The three for Williams gave Bishop Lachlan the lead before Alvarado hit two at the line. Williams spinning between the defense, had a good look at the rim. On the follow off glass, Hurton couldn't connect. And a chance here for Christ the King to extend its lead. Idrissa Bivens seeing time here in the first half. Behind the back to Williams, no good. 3-10 remaining and a one-point lead for the Royals. First half action. Catch and shoot Alvarado, well off target. And Bivens allows it to bounce out of bounds for a clean restart. Keith Williams gets a breather, replaced by Tyrese Gaffney. 16 first half points for Keith Williams. Splashing down a three is Bivens. Another sophomore asked to step up today. Into Cockburn, Bivens comes for the double team. Cockburn maintains control and lays it in. Power move for the sophomore, Kofi Cockburn. Tied at 27. Gaffney navigates his way, weak side Champagne, bumping there with Cockburn and no call. Under two minutes to play, first half. Deadlocked at 27. Cockburn nearly triple teamed as he puts it off glass and in. And the foul. There's a quote from Joe Arbatello, and he said, I run plays for Kofi and he excels. When I don't run plays for him, he doesn't sulk. No need for him to even think about sulking tonight. He has been featured offensively and he is delivered with 13 first half points. The three point play gives Christ the King a three point edge. 30, 27. Alvarado guarding Noel. That's a matchup of the top two finishers in the MVP race last year, won by Alvarado. No good for Williams. Alvarado the rebound. Up ahead, Harrison Hunt. Davis to Cockburn. Rocking the rim. Five straight for Cockburn. Five point lead for Christ the King. The answer in the form of Gaffney, who sticks a three. Tyrese Gaffney averaging 14 a game. Nice compliment to both Williams and Noel. Under a minute to play. Good defense by Gaffney. Harrison Hunt called for the offensive foul. You 
You can hear Joe Arbatello's voice vibrating through the gym and pointing at Bishop Lachlan players who are guilty of using their off arm to create space. Noel driving off the glass and good for his first points. Cockburn missing the jam. Gaffney on the run out, blocked, but goaltending. The lead to Bishop Lachlan. Thirty-three, thirty-two. That earlier corner shot from Gaffney ruled a two. Three seconds left. Alvarado can't get a shot off. Ball is loose, and Bishop Lachlan has the halftime lead. Thirty-three, thirty-two in favor of the Lions. A great battle here in Brooklyn. A matchup of top twenty teams and a battle for second place in the CHSAA Brooklyn Queens Division. You're watching it here on News 12 Varsity. Who will rise higher? Dunk harder. And go farther. The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long. Jose Alvarado begins the third quarter with a, with a missed three. As we welcome you back to Bishop Lachlan High School, Kofi Cockburn follows for 17 points. Lead is back to Christ the King. Contact, Champagne draws the foul. With Thomas Schnars, David Resnick. A battle for second place and then potentially the top spot in the Brooklyn Queens division. Malloy at 11 and two, Lachlan 7-3, Christ the King eight and four. Perfect trip for the sophomore as Justin Champagny had to go to the bench with two early fouls, picks up his first points. Lead changing hands again, Alvarado attacking the rim. Hard fall to the hardwood as the personal committed by Gaffney pushing him aside. Jose Alvarado still taking his time to collect of himself. This foul determined to be on the floor. Joe Arbatello can't quite understand why. As the push, I guess, came before the shot attempt, obviously. Alvarado seems to be okay, at least faking it well as he tries to set up Cockburn for a post-touch. Harrison Hunt faces the foul line. No good. Alvarado, beg your pardon, it was Davis tapping it to keep it alive and last touched by the Lions. As we're in the first minute of the third quarter. See some empty seats in your picture there. Soon to be filled by the crowd returning from halftime. Cockburn holds. 
Not in a position to shoot from his position at the elbow. Davis on the pull up, pure from the baseline. Marquise Noel bumped by Davis down to the floor. Noel with just two points in the first half. Keith Williams leading the way for the Lions with 16. Tyrese Gaffney chip, chipping in with eight. Noel step back off the iron, no. Alvarado picked up by Gaffney. Works off the screen from Cockburn. Hesitation dribble. Gaffney all over Alvarado. Harrison Hunt lines it up. It's an air ball. Noel feeds up ahead to Gaffney out of reach. And the ball right back to the Royals. Alvarado bumped by Noel. Hand check. Christ the King behind Bishop Lachlan in the Brooklyn Queen standings, but ahead of the Lions in terms of our New York City News 12 rankings. Malloy at number one, followed by Lincoln, and then Christ the King. All three of those teams in the Tri-State Top 20. Kick out and the three. Phillips Joseph getting the start tonight in place of Tyson Walker, and he has contributed nine points. Williams no good. Alvarado rebound and run. Bounce pass. What a find to Davis. Oh, that was pretty for Alvarado with the vision and the accuracy to bounce it off the dribble. Christ the King has opened up a six-point lead here in the third quarter. 5-10 to go. Noel curling, hitting, a chance at four. Marquise Noel drills a three. said earlier as I was reciting the New York City rankings that all three of those teams were in the Tri-State Top 20. That was obvious, meant to say they're all ranked in the Tri-State Top 10, which is not as obvious when you consider all the great teams out of New Jersey that populate most of the top 10 each year. Noel with just his second field goal and with the four point play, cuts the six point deficit to just two. Davis out of control, driving to the rim. Here's Williams. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that had a chance to tear the house down. And we're situated in the corner directly opposite where Williams begun that drive. And his eyes widened like beach balls. My goodness. But nevertheless, a foul and a chance for free throws. Not as exciting as a dunk, but if he makes both, it's worth the same two points. Definitely not as exciting. First point for Williams of the second half after 16 in the first half of play. It's a 5-0 run here for the Lions, and one more would tie the game at 41. Full court pressure on this small floor. Alvarado taps it to keep it in play right in front of his head coach, Show Arbitello. The follow Harrison Hunt off the Phillips Joseph miss. It's back to Noel, finding Williams for two. 
The chemistry between those two players continues to get better each game as Edwin Gonzalez saying that those two have really begun to look for each other as they play together for the second year. Lachlan has taken the lead thanks to an 8-0 run. Cockburn spinning baseline, throws up an air ball. Champagne blocked. Good defense from Joseph. Williams has it, puts it up and in. Keith Williams, baseline J. Ten zero run for the Lions. Loose ball, handled by Christ the King. Cockburn passes out of a double team. He reposts. And lost the ball. The Champagne twins combining to play good D. Now it's Noel off the crossover. High off the iron, no. Cockburn in traffic and other rebounds. He's been great this afternoon, which has turned into the early evening. Alvarado on the drive. Right into the sophomore Champagne in the foul. So Alvarado with eight first half points. He's a consistent scorer. He's a down the stretch scorer, a timely scorer. But without Walker in the lineup, a little bit more needed from Jose, who will go to play for Josh Passner at Georgia Tech. A Yellow Jackets squad that has exceeded its expectations in Passner's first year in the ACC. Pair of free throws for Alvarado ends a 10-0 run for Bishop Lachlan and makes it just a two-point game with three minutes to go in the third. Entry into Williams, step back, no good. Alvarado with numbers. That bounce pass intercepted. Taken back by Christ the King and flipped up and in by Anthony Lang. The senior seeing his first action of the game ties it at 45. Foul on the floor as Noel got bumped off his spot. Justin Champagne out. Tyrese Gaffney re enters. Chad Vetting has returned. The sophomore played well in the first half off the bench as an interior presence. Noel dribbling and a foul on the perimeter. Jonathan Lamartine reaching in. And Noel is just a player because of his style and skill that just creates havoc. He's so elusive, he's so quick. He plays in your face. The transfer from St. Anthony in Jersey City, who played just his freshman year out there. Williams forced it and threw up an air ball in a 45 all game. You can see the crowd two and three deep in some places. And as Jose, Jose Alvarado dribbles it across midcourt, how the far stands are packed as well. Alvarado driving. Lamartine got his hand on it but couldn't convert. It's up to Gaffney, Euro step. Alvarado blocked it off the backboard for a goaltending. Basket good, two-point lead, Bishop Lachlan. What's, once it's on the glass, you can't touch it. And Alvarado just a little bit slow. Lamartine into the body of Venning, who stayed straight up. Gaffney spins on Alvarado and lays it in. That gets the crowd excited.
Loose ball. Lang has his second layup of the quarter. Alvarado got hit on the exchange, and he is down. So if Jose Alvarado doesn't immediately pop right back up, you, you know it's something at least momentarily significant. That kid plays with such aggression and little regard for his body at six foot 165, and he either got poked or hit in the face or the eye. He's out there or not out there for now. Anthony Young committing the foul, coming in for Alvarado, and that sends Noel to the free throw line. If Tom is able to zoom out just a little bit, we'll see. I believe that's the seventh team foul. It is against Christ the King. This is called production teamwork. We see the teamwork on the floor. So one and one here for Noel. Free throw good. Eight for Noel. He's been held in relative check. Four point lead for Christ the King after, or excuse me, for Bishop Lachlan after Christ the King tied things up. Jose Alvarado is back in the game as Joseph got blocked on the perimeter. Harrison Hunt on the move. Off the glass, no. Pull up three, got it. Marquise Noel. With under a minute to go in the quarter, it's a seven point lead for the Lions. Largest advantage for Bishop Lachlan here at home. Entry feed into Cockburn, knocked aside. A 13-point turnaround in this quarter alone as Lachlan was down six to now up seven. Lions basketball. Shot clock off, 26 seconds to go in the third quarter. A three would give the Lions a 10-point lead. Commanding position right now for Bishop Lachlan trying to sweep Christ the King in the regular season. Noel has been hot this quarter, hits again! Marquise Noel drills it from the corner. And the third quarter is over. Marquise Noel makes it a 10-point game. Up to 14 points after a slow first half. Bishop Lachlan, 57. Christ the King, 47. A Tri-State Top 20 Showdown is here on News 12 Varsity. The love, yeah, it's in our souls. The passion, it's in the cheers. And in that pivotal moment, we live and die with every pass, steal, and game-winning dunk. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Don't miss a minute. Download the News 12 Varsity app today. 12-2, Bishop Lachlan run. Last eight scored by Marquise Noel. 
and it's 57-47 in favor of the home Lions as we welcome you back to Bishop Lachlan. Royals on a seven game winning streak and that is on the line as they trail by 10 to open up the fourth. Noel probing, big hop into the paint and a foul on the floor. He draws the foul with the Lions in the bonus. He'll shoot one and one. Bishop Lachlan three and three in their last six after they won six in a row. Noel has come alive here in the second half. He has now scored nine straight for his Lions. Lead is 12, 10 straight for Noel. Harrison Hunt blocked. He got rejected by Champagne. Joseph off the glass, no. Harrison Hunt the rebound and a foul. So these teams battling for position in the league. A loss for Christ the King today would give them five league losses and put Lachlan two games in the clear. But then with a matchup for Christ the King against Malloy, they have the opportunity to then help Lachlan in the league standings with a win. Nice pick and roll. Champagne never came down with it and athletically put it off glass and in. A close game for the first three quarters. And then right at the end, Bishop Lachlan pulling away like Gaffney in the open floor. That draws a Christ the King timeout as the lead swells to 15. 63-48 just underway in the fourth quarter and the Lions are in control. Full court pressure for the Lions, up 15. Have to like their positioning with 6.50 to go in the fourth. Alvarado, hesitation dribble, explodes to the rim and here comes Jose Alvarado. But Williams looks to answer right back. Keith Williams is shooting two. Twenty-three now for Williams, a point over his season average. Four-year player at Bishop Lachlan. Kadeem Carrington was the last four-year guy at Bishop Lachlan. And when you consider all the transferring that goes so long, it's rare to say it. But also in the fact of you need to be at such a skill level in order to make varsity as a freshman, as many of these programs have. Not only freshmen and JV teams, but varsity Bs as well. Today's matchup is part of a quadruple header. That's why we got off to a little bit of a late start. Jalen Davis. That's a three, just a 12 point game and the ball right back to CTK. Time, there is plenty, opportunity of course. The Royals on a seven game winning streak. And they've got the reigning Catholic League MVP. Cockburn silent in the third quarter, kicks it out. That is well off target for Joseph. Marquise Noel to Chip Paney for the two handed pump. Yeah. 
We've got senior talent and Division I talent and Williams and Alvarado, but the sophomores on the floor. Williams, oh, he throws it down. Noel on point for the alley-oop. Williams went absolutely flying off the baseline. And after a miss jam, nearly brought the house down. That dunk did so there. Timeout, Christ the King. Marquise Noel is shooting technical free throws because Joe Arbitello was ejected. A call that he doesn't quite understand. Noel makes both technical free throws. Ed Gonzalez wants to know why there aren't four free throws. But it appears that just one technical and the ejection attached to the technical foul. Referees have the ability to throw out on one technical. And so it's just one technical and the injection. And so Joe Arbitello is a pretty tech-savvy guy. He's got a Twitter account. I don't know if that makes you tech-savvy, but game is streaming live on news12varsity.com. Unfortunately for this game, we might have just picked up an additional viewer. Keith Williams driving in, up with one hand and getting the home friendly bounce. 28 for Keith Williams, and the lead explodes to 20. 5.20 to go, a deficit for Christ the King and their head coach in the locker room. Davis, look away, drives in and scores. Far from over, unless Noel continues to play like that. Noel hits the deck hard, but draws the whistle. Five minutes to go, fourth quarter. Defense against Cockburn in the second half has been really strong, but he's been a willing passer, and Jalen Davis knocks it down. Timeout is taken. 32nd timeout taken by Christ the King. 75-58. Under five to go in regulation. Noel driving. Blocked there by Joseph. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lions. Ed Gonzalez didn't like the decision making there. Noel waits for Venning on the cut. Lost it out of his hands and it, I believe, hit the stanchion and so it is out of bounds to Christ the King.
Trailing by 17 here in the fourth. Cockburn driving to the basket, got fouled. The Royals continued to look for him. There just wasn't much doing. 15 points in the first half, just two after the break. Perfect trip for Cockburn. Already a player holding high Division I offers. Williams tied up. Ed Gonzalez timeout. Potentially conflicting calls as Williams was on the verge of being tied up. 423 remaining. Lachlan with a boatload of timeouts remaining if they so choose, but it is a 15 point advantage here in the fourth. Noel flips it to Williams. Williams uses the glass, rims out. Gaffney is there for the follow. Davis, baseline, no. Cockburn battling with Venning. Last touch by CTK. Christ the King picking up full court. Alvarado guarding Noel. Alvarado really bursting onto the scene as a sophomore. Noel did the same last year. A foul against Joseph as he hit the arm of Gaffney. Joseph picking up his fourth foul as he indicates to the side. Two free throws upcoming here for Tyrese Gaffney. One of the better two-way wing players for Bishop Lachlan. Spent a good amount of time today guarding Jose Alvarado. Offensively with 15 points to support Noel and Williams. 3.45 to go, Christ the King trailing by 18. Cockburn got fouled in the post. This seven game winning streak most likely coming to a close for a Christ the King team that didn't have the toughest of schedules during this run, but they did beat Mount Vernon of Section 1, a high quality opponent, and St. Ray's, the eighth best team in the Tri-State during this seven game spurt to win the SNY Invitational. Those definitely highlighted the seven game run. Alvarado misfires from three, and for Christ the King, Malloy is up next. You can see that game on News 12 Varsity, and St. Ray's to follow. Davis in transition, gets the layup. Timeout Bishop Lachlan. They don't want to head into the Super Bowl with timeouts to burn. 3.18 to go, and... It's a 16 point lead for Bishop Lachlan. Christ the King applying full court pressure. 
Gaffney across the timeline. Approaching three minutes to go. Bishop Lachlan trying to sweep Christ the King and they'll get free throws to help their cause. A 12-2 run to end the third quarter, supported by eight straight for Marquise Noel. Will prove to be the difference in this one. As Bishop Lachlan built a 10-point lead at the end of the third quarter. And just built it from there. Davis out. Joshua Hodge comes in for the first time. Christ the King playing a bit edgy throughout and now with this deficit, doesn't help. Gaffney at the line, adds one more. So Bishop Lachlan split with Malloy on the verge of sweeping Christ the King to solidify their second spot in the league. Adrian Nunez with the rebound and put back. It's really a three-team race in the Brooklyn Queens bracket. And assuming Malloy will keep its number one spot, they should have a relatively easy path to the championship game. While Bishop Lachlan and Christ the King, the steal for Williams and the foul will have to meet each other in the semifinals for what would be a tough matchup. And in the New York division, when you consider Stepanak, Hayes, St. Ray's, Iona Prep, and Mount St. Michael, the battle for the New York Archdiocese Championship those are tough semifinal matchups all the way through. And the 4 5 matchup will prove to be difficult as well. Five quality teams all above 500. Brooklyn Queens is shaping out to really be three elite squads and everybody else. And so three plus five makes eight for the city championship. From the quarters on, will be much must see basketball. 242 remaining, 20 point game. And speaking with Joe Arbitello before the game, he said this notion of the decline of New York City basketball should be rendered a myth when Christ the King and Bishop Lachlan went out of state and beat some of the best teams from Georgia, Florida, Maryland. St. Ray's beating St. Anthony of Jersey City, one of the best teams out of the Garden State. Each of the teams that I listed, those top eight, really littered with Division I players, high Division I kids, as Alvarado is an example of that, gets his own miss. And so some people like to call it parody in terms of the teams beating up on each other, but it's really a certain level of skill and competition. The Division I kids are no longer relegated to just a few programs. Should make for a really exciting playoff season, which you can follow on News 12 Varsity. Alvarado at the line shooting a pair, or make it a one and one, that turns into a pair. Alvarado makes both. 
2.30 remaining. Gaffney will dribble it out. Williams feeling pressure from Young. Alvarado up on Noel. 10 on the timer. Noel stepping back, high arcing shot, no good. Alvarado, long rebound, pushing against Nunez. Count it, plus one. Alvarado gets to his season average, albeit in a losing effort. It's a 16 point game with under two minutes left. Five straight for Alvarado, who nonchalantly hits free throws with ease. Bishop Lachlan looking to use clock. Noel right through the paint for the easy lay-in. That notion about clock, don't worry about it. So in the first matchup, an overtime win as Cockburn throws it down with two. Williams and Noel combined for 47. That was a point of emphasis, obviously, for Christ the King as a timeout is called. And by our unofficial count, Noel and Williams combining tonight for 50. And what will be Bishop Lachlan's second straight win against Christ the King here in the regular season. 84-69, 130 left in the fourth. Bishop Lachlan with the lead. Timeout. Into Noel, gets away from the pressure and into the front court. Alvarado commits the foul, extending the game and sending Bivens to the line. By now it should be double bonus time. Alvarado, deep three, rebounded by the Lions. Christ the King still pressuring with 105 to go. Gaffney splits the D. Cockburn has another rebound, double-double performance for him. Outlet pass deflected. Here's Alvarado, firing for three and good. 21 unofficially for Alvarado. He got batted around quite a bit. Wahad Johnson, the junior, firing off the bench. When a non-regular shoots in the final minute, very much acceptable. As for Nunez, he tees up a three. 88-72. Shot clock is off. An overtime victory on the road, and now a convincing performance here at home. Jose Alvarado dribbles it out. Right along the timeline. And just seconds to go. 88-72 the final. Bishop Lachlan sweeping Christ the King in the regular season. They have solidified their spot in the second position of the Brooklyn Queens division and the second of what can be four meetings between Bishop Lachlan and Christ the King goes in the Lions' favor. The 14th best team in the Tri-State taking down the sixth best squad as the Lions defend their home floor and win 88-72. Who will rise higher? 
dunk harder and go farther. The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long. In a hallway around the corner from the gymnasium where Bishop Lachlan took down Christ the King, 88-72. Marquise Noel joining us post-game. A definitive third quarter run, 12-2. You had eight of those points. How did it change the game? Uh, we was being aggressive. We was playing health defense. Um, we tried to stick to our game plan, and that was defend, and we, our points would take care of us. Every year is different, but now a winning streak is building up for the Lions against the Royals, sweeping the regular season. How important was that? It, it's a rival. We don't like them. They don't like us. Um, we beat them two times. We want to beat them every time. And they just came up with an S and Y, so that gave us some, them some confidence, and we tried to kill that today. You guys had a six-game winning streak, and now you're four and three in the last seven. Where do you think you guys are? Uh, I think we're good right now where we at, but I think we could get better. I think we could play better defense. Um, and we're going to have to compete every game from now on. Coach saying that the chemistry between you and Keith building each and every game highlighted tonight by that alley-oop dunk, that, that must feel pretty good. Yeah, we, we work on that every day. I saw um, one of the CTK players wasn't running back hard, and I knew Keith was going to run hard and sprint, and I got the alley-oop. Your season is really a marathon when you consider 24 regular season games, the Brooklyn Queens bracket, the city bracket. And in some ways, even though we're into February, you're just getting started. How high is the ceiling for this team? Uh, it's very high. Um, we got a lot of young players who's ready to ball with us and ready to compete. And our leadership, we have four seniors that's, that have been on our, our So we good this year. Thanks for putting on a show. Thank you. I appreciate it. 88-72, the final. Marquise Noel and company helping Bishop Lachlan end a seven-game winning streak for Christ the King, taking down the Royals here at home. For our producer, Thomas Schnars, I'm David Resnick. Thanks so much for joining us on News 12 Varsity Game Time.